We just thank you for this day and all your blessings, which are so many. Please, Lord, forgive us of the sins that we've already done this morning or things that are not pleasing to you. And Lord, just fill us up with your spirit today. And I just ask you, first of all, just to touch Cody's body right now, Lord. Just heal him in your time. And we don't know why you haven't healed him yet, Lord, but we know all of it's going to be for your glory, Lord. So I just pray for Cody. Uh, something that stands out about Cody is that he's just... I remember Cody every Saturday morning just waking up so early, eating his breakfast, and just rushing my mom out the door. Couldn't stop smiling and couldn't wait to get out to the soccer field. There's nothing like seeing his face and his big eyes light up. On December 28th, I took Cody to his pediatrician because he was really, really swollen and like it was extreme because he's very thin so he just looked really, really fat. And so I took him to his pediatrician and immediately his pediatrician said take him to Loma Linda. He's had all his surgeries there. They're familiar with this case. Take him there to the emergency room immediately. I'm writing you a letter for it. So we took him to the ER. I waited there like all day, finally he got admitted, and they only kept him for three days, saying that his body was filling up with fluid. He was supposed to follow up, and the doctor just told us, you know, what we could, what we could do. We could take him home, um, just monitor him on medications and everything, and um, so we said, okay, we'll do that, whatever, and he took his blood pressure and it was just through the roof so his doctor was like i need to he needs to be admitted he's got all these like you know like um like a pipe if it can't get through the water then it kind of bursts out on the sides it kind of branched out a bunch of veins into there kind of bypassed it made its own little bypass at loma linda he had five or six procedures that failed and then at Children's LA, he just had one surgery two weeks ago that was a pretty big surgery. It was really rough on his lungs, and um, that's the only one so far. So He's, um, I mean, they've done procedures that would normally stop this. Being in the hospital for three and a half months, just not knowing what is going to happen, not having an end date, not knowing when he's going to go home, and just like having doctors basically just guess what what could be wrong and testing it, and it turns out to be a failure, and he just still finds a way to keep courage and keep faith in it. Waste a couple months with the benefits, which I don't know. Right now, would have been maxing out. I, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, I don't even know how much the insurance is going to pay on all this. If it's going to cover part all, yeah, I don't know. Praying that my work is going to still keep me, so that I can keep his benefits. She doesn't know if she's going to have a job. If she doesn't have a job, she doesn't have benefits. So it's just like a month by month thing, and. Um, it's just really stressful for her, super hard on her. Like, I feel like she's going through everything Cody's going through. How many times did the doctors come to see you? Uh, all day long. Through the whole day. It's doctors, doctors, doctors. Yeah. Test, test. So, how does it feel being in the hospital this long? Very. 
You get frustrated sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like giving up? No. Have you felt like giving up before? Some days? Yeah. Some days when you're really feeling really sick? Yeah. You don't want no more. Yeah. No more tests, no more shots, no more. But you're staying positive. Huh? It was yeah. really painful. Here's how you can help. If you see this video, reshare it. Help it get into the right people's hands. Tell people Cody's story. Another way you can help. We're making bracelets that say Cure for Cody. Keep one and give one to a friend. Help to pass on Cody's story. All proceeds will go to Cody's medical bills. Above all else, we ask that you just keep Cody in your prayers. We're making a symbol that every time you go to a stop sign, you stop and pray for Cody. I want to go.